Trump just bombarded these three dirty Dems with major surprise that will shut them up for good. The liberal snowflake meltdown over the past couple of days following Trump firing FBI Director Comey has been nothing short of hilarious to witness. The very same people who were screaming at the top of their freaking lungs and begging Barack Hussein Obama to fire Comey are now the very same idiots feigning outrage after Trump finally decided to take out the trash. As these morons are now labeling Trump a fascist and even calling for his impeachment over Comey's dismissal, President Trump had finally had enough. Calling out their hypocrisy in a way that only Trump can do, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and Maxine Waters woke up to a nasty surprise this morning that immediately sent the trio of morons flying back into their land of unicorns and rainbows where they belong. Democrats are the biggest hypocrites on the face of the planet and wasted no time proving that to the world once again following Comey's firing. The usual clowns were out in force spinning the story and pushing their fake and cringeworthy outrage, as Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and Maxine Waters lost their minds on all the liberal networks, trying to claim that Trump was trying to get rid of Comey because he has some sort of bombshell evidence about a Russian collusion. But Trump immediately decided to set the record straight on Comey and pushed out an epic two-minute video where he tweeted out the truth so Americans could see just how full of crap and hypocrisy liberals truly are, along with the hashtag hashtag drain the swamp. Firing Comey has been long overdue and it's amazing that Trump kept him around this long in the first place. It's too bad that he can't be brought up on charges for dereliction of duty considering how he failed massively with his obligation to do his freaking job. Remember Comey's 15-minute press conference back in the day when he presented evidence for a solid case that should have led to the indictment of Hillary Clinton, but in the end he decided to play politics, refusing to hand the case over the Department of Justice. Thank God that President Trump is making good on his promise to drain the swamp while at the same time giving zero craps about whose feelings he hurts in the process. It's amazing that liberals are having such a cry fest over Comey getting fired when he was the target of their rage and blamed for Hillary's election loss after he reopened the investigation back into her emails. What's even more hilarious is that now liberals are responding to Trump's firing of Comey by calling for an independent or special prosecutor to look into their ongoing propaganda that the Russians meddled in the 2016 elections. They're already pushing the narrative that the reason that Trump fired Comey was because he was hot on the trail. To expose Trump's collusion with Russian associates, But of course we know that that is simply a witch hunt, as these idiots have yet to prove anything even remotely close about a Trump-Russia type. Breitbart did an entire story on this several days ago, over 100 days into Donald Trump's presidency, there still remains no evidence of collusion between his administration and Russian agents, despite mainstream media reports to the contrary. During a congressional hearing into alleged collusion between Donald Trump's presidential campaign and Russia, Former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper confirmed that he still had no evidence to support the claims. Last month, Clapper told NBC that the agency's investigations had yielded no such evidence. When asked by Senator Lindsey Graham, RSE, whether this is still the case, Clapper said, it is. Meanwhile, former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates revealed she had expressed concerns over Donald Trump's decision to appoint Mike Flynn as his national security adviser but she failed to offer any evidence of collusion with between the two parties. Yates also revealed that political ideology had influenced her decision to defy Trump's executive order suspending travel from several terror-prone countries in January, although she maintained her decision was made not purely as a policy matter. Trump later took to Twitter to criticize the investigation, describing it as a total hoax and a taxpayer-funded charade, pointing out the fact that there remains no evidence of collusion. In March. Chairman of the U.S. Congressional Committee on Intelligence Representative Devin Nunes also said he had seen no evidence of collusion based on the evidence he heard. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.